Hi guys, um, uh, welcome to this uh, yet another small session in which I'm going to illustrate how to find the Laplace transform of a function t where t is equal to uh, f of t is t cosh 3t. Okay, so the procedure is uh, pretty simple because you are guided by that table of Laplace transforms. So, now, so we should make use of, if you look uh, in the tables, if you look in, uh, on, uh, on that table, you are given that the Laplace transform of minus x, okay, minus x to the power of n, uh, being multiplied to f of x, this Laplace transform is equal to d by ds of uh, dn and antiderivative of this inverse tra uh, uh, Laplace transform. Okay, this is the formula that we're going to use, all right, to answer this question. So let's start off with uh, our problem uh, on the left hand side we're going to have the Laplace transform of uh, the function t which we are required to find is equal to the Laplace transform of we replace f of t with the given expression which is t cosh 3t like that okay perfect but look at this there is a trick that we want to do guys we are given by this formula. This is a formula, right? This is a formula. So we are told that the Laplace transform of um, x to the power of n multiplied with to a certain function of x will, will be equivalent to the antiderivative with respect to s uh, of the inverse transform. So we, we just want to make, make our problem fit uh, the given formula. So how are we going to do it? So look at this, I'm going to write the Laplace transform of, uh, in here, instead of t, I'm going to modify that and write minus t, all right? Since I wrote a negative t in here, I want to cancel out that negative and put a negative outside, such that I will be uh, comparing this stage to the previous one, just equivalent, uh, in actual sense that didn't do anything. So I put a negative sign, I cancel it out, and everything else comes back. All right. Why am I doing so? I want to make use of this formula. Now, I don't care. This, this negative sign that is outside, I'll keep it. But look at this inside thing. It's exactly what is given by the formula. If I have a negative on x to the power of n, multiplied by uh, a certain function of x is equivalent to that. So this negative sign is right here. But instead of having this, I'm going to write d. In this case, my n is 1. Can you see that? The power of this bracket is 1. It's 1. So I'm not going to have any uh, number there. It's just 1. Uh, over ds, also to the 1. Uh, and then here I'm going to have the inverse uh, Laplace trans, uh, inverse transform of um, in this case my variable okay it's fine I'll just keep it as s like that but remember guys remember okay remember that uh, for uh, we, where do we get this inverse Laplace uh, transform all right it's the Laplace transform of a certain function will give rise to the f inverse. Right? So if I transform a certain function, I'll get this guy. All right. So instead of having that, so I'll I'll say this is equal to minus d over ds. Um, where in my problem, look, in my problem, I have, my, okay, if you look at this formula, 
it says minus x to the n by f of x. And look at this. The Laplace transform of f of x is giving me that f hat s. Okay? So, if I'm going to ask you guys, instead of f of x, what do I have next to that? You can see that it's exactly cosh 3t. So, I'm going to say, this is the Laplace transform of cosh I think right here it's where you are getting uh, uh, to be confused because if you compare this is exactly the, the, the f of x. Huh? If you compare this is my function and according to this formula the Laplace transform of the function gives me there f hat. And I have that f hat here. I want to, what gives me this f hat? It's a Laplace transform of the second function. And what is that second function? I can pick it from the formula that is cosh 3t. All right, so, uh, which is not bad. I will look in the table again. The Laplace transform of cosh 3t will be equivalent to, so minus d ds will come back. And here I'll be having, if you look in the table, Laplace transform of cosh 3t is s over s squared minus nine, right? If I'm going to continue, so the negative will, co will, will come outside and then I'll have uh, square brackets. The derivative of that, this is uh, um, the differentiation of uh, what? Of uh, the quotient rule. We applied the quotient rule right now. It's u over v, so it's going to be v to u. So it's going to be s squared minus 9. Remember, guys, let me write you the formula first. Maybe, maybe you need to, 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 to recap. So the differentiation of u over v, the quotient rule, differentiation of that is equal to v du minus u dv all over v squared. So let's apply the quotient rule now. So this u over v, so uh, u over v, so it's v, which is s squared minus 9, that's our v, du, which is 1, all right, minus According to that formula, u is s, and then dv, what we get if we differentiate? We get 2s, all right? Then all over v squared, which is s squared minus 9. Okay, so if we continue, you, you will have this negative sign outside. So you have s squared minus 9 minus 2s squared all over this should be squared according to that formula. S squared minus 9 squared. So this is now equal to, if I'm going to, to subtract, to subtract. Now I'm going to get negative in brackets minus S squared minus 9 over S squared minus 9 squared and finally if I get this guy inside there I'll have s squared plus 9 all over s squared minus 9 squared which is uh, the answer we are looking for okay so the idea I'm sure the confusion is right here f hat we get f hat after Lapl the uh, operating the, uh, the Laplace op uh, trans uh, transform operator on f gives us f hat. So I replace that f hat by that, which is exactly, if I look at the formula, I'm told that f of x is sitting next to the function multiplying minus x. Oh. Okay, so my f of x, the function I'm looking for is cosh 3t, which is exactly that. You look in the table, you have that, and then everything else follows. d over ds is a derivative operator. And you end up with that. So I hope it helps you guys. Alright, see you next time in the next video.